Good afternoon for 4 News Now, I'm Rob King. Welcome to today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. I'll take you through the top headlines of the day, as well as give you an inside peek at what the 4, now, 4 News Now team is working on. On. Starting with an update to a story we brought you late Friday, a man has been arrested by Pullman police allegedly exposing himself on uh, fraternity row, or excuse me, sorority row at the WSU campus. 46-year-old Jason Olin was wanted by police accused of multiple sex offenses on that campus. Uh, Friday afternoon is when those crimes occurred and he turned himself into police yesterday. Uh, moving on, we'll take a look at the forecast for the day. So we got some nice weather. Uh, fortunately, some of that morning snow that we saw is going to start moving out of the area. Some intermittent flurries throughout the day, but that cold is going to stick around. And there is unfortunately no warm up in sight looking ahead through the weekly forecast. Uh, the roads will probably still be slippery because it's not going to be uh, super warm. It's unseasonably cold for this time of year as we enter March. Still feels like very much winter and we're getting some light winds throughout the week, uh, mostly dry through Friday. But again, expect some light snow in some areas. Uh, let's take a look at what the team is working on today. Emily Bloom is watching a piece of Washington legislation, House Bill 1155, which has made its way through the House and is now working through the Senate. What this bill looks at is uh, health data tracking and how that data can be sold. Um, what the goal is, is to prohibit selling that health data and provide protections for consumers in that. So again, she's going to be trying to speak with legislators today about that bill. Uh, moving on, Spokane police in the city, they may be getting some new cameras. Uh, the city is going to be looking at an agenda item to purchase 15 new cameras. These are cameras that scan license plates. So there's going to be 13 cameras posted around the city if approved and two cameras will be on vehicles. They're mobile cameras and they're going to be looking to scan license plates of vehicles that might be reported stolen or involved in Amber Alerts. So that's on the Spokane City agenda. Uh, Spokane Public Schools, your kids may have a different ride to school next year. Um, they're looking at possibly a new contract and moving on from Durham School Services, which currently provides buses for Spokane Public Schools, and looking at another company, possibly a five-year contract worth $71 million. And finally, 4 News Now's Peter Choi, he is down at Spokane International Airport today where they were awarded $15 million. That's going to go to renovations and terminal expansion. He's going to have details about the plan and how it could save you time if you are traveling through the airport. So that's all we have today for the KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. Thank you for joining us. We'll have all these stories and more coming up for in, in 4 News Now at 5. But for now, live in studio, I'm Rob King for KXLY Plus.